What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Zometica, ticker symbol ZOM. This stock has been talked about quite a bit as of late, so we're going to be talking about where analysts see it going and of course the technicals at play here for this stock and if there's potential here in the long term. On top of ZOM, make sure you're sticking around because we're going to be going over two penny stocks that have hit the 10 out of 10 on the tip ranks stock analysis score. We're going to be going over those stocks and why one of them has over 150% upside potential and why they could be setting up very, very nicely technically speaking it was actually kind of crazy not someone to dive into a lot of other stuff on youtube because a lot of that stuff to be honest is not worth the time but i was just kind of nosing around and i was finding people talking about penny stocks that were up you know thousands and thousands of percent already on the year and they're like otc stocks we're not going to talk about otc stocks here on this channel that is not my bread and butter but i want to make sure we talk about the charts and the technicals so that you're not just buying something randomly because somebody said something, you should understand that, you know, buying something up thousands of percent, where is your downside risk? Your downside risk is absolutely massive. You do not want to be buying something that's up that much. Now, could it work out here and there? Yes. But the downside can be massive if you don't know what you're doing and don't have risk management in place. So make sure you're jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button because we have your best interest at play here. We are not trying to make anyone buy anything or sell anything. That's not the point of this channel. So really quick, let's dive into ZOM right now. Okay, we have a neutral rating. Why is that? Well, because we have some analysts that have a moderate buy. I think there's only one analyst. We'll talk about that in a second. We have a lot of tip ranks investors that are saying the sentiment's positive. Why I don't really care too much about that is because that could be pretty much anybody coming on and saying ZOM to the moon, right? That's, of course, not really going to help us here in this case. Also, not to mention when, when you see a lot of sentiment that is all one-sided. Now, this tip rank scale here doesn't cover you know everything on, on the internet. But if you're noticing that everybody's saying Zom to the moon, you're noticing comments on videos, you're noticing people are making more videos about how this stock is going to go to 10x, that's telling you, you know, hey, maybe the trade here could be the opposite way because we know that most people lose in the stock market. That's, that's how it works. It's the name of the game. Okay. Okay. With that said, we just got the launch of their Trueforma platform, which is supposed to be, you know, very, very helpful to vets and, and in the pet space. So we have that under control. That has been unveiled. We understand here with Zom that it's going to take time. We're going to have to see the numbers out of that. We're going to have to see how this progresses over the next months and years. It's not going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to buy this stock today. And next month, if everything goes right, it's going to go up. Now, it certainly could if they get a nice press release. But of course, understand that there's a lot more at play here. So diving into the price targets, we only have one price target out from HC Wainwright. That was three months ago. That was a price target at 120. So as of right now, we got the stock sitting a little bit higher. A couple things to note here with Zom, we're looking at Finviz and all the links to any of the stuff will be linked down below, not to mention this tip ranks platform, all this information and tons of research tools. There'll be a 20% off coupon for the ultimate platform that expires on the 6th of April. But looking at Finviz, we can see that the market cap is 1.47 billion. We have a shares float of 922 million for Zom. So not a super low float stock, right? A low float stock would be probably under 100 million shares and you know the price you know, under about five bucks. That's a pretty low float stock. Just tells us how many shares are available for the public to trade. And then you want to be watching the volume. The volume has faded out quite a bit ever since the launch, which actually came out a little bit earlier here on this big red candle right here. That was the launch of the Terraforma product. And that was like their first sale, I guess. And so ever Ever since then, the volume has died out and we're seeing volume here under, you know, 100 million, pretty much holding up fairly well under that 100 million point. Now, that said, what is going on on the chart here? We want to head over to Weeble really quick and talk about this chart. Now, okay, we are at a very critical point, in my opinion here, with Zom. Why is that? Okay, we zoom into what is going on with Zom as of late, right? We had this big push up from, you know, back under like 10 cents a while back, pushed up to hitting 150, pulled back, broke back for 150, hit nearly $3 and pulled back to two, had these crazy dips on some crazy, you know, sell-offs in the overall market and small caps down towards 150, actually just below 150 a couple times, and have now fallen below the 50 SMA, which is not great. You'd like to see that area hold up potentially if a stock is coming down to that level. It did not. Now this 150 area, upper 140s to 150, where we had these wicks down in prior weeks, you know, back when small caps are taking hits, that is showing to be an area of support as of right now. The concern that I have with Zom is that if it can't hold this level and things stay quiet, 
in terms of the company, right? If they don't come out with some more news, hey, you know, here's the next thing we got. Here's this great thing. Here's why we're pumped. If they don't come out with some of that news and things go quiet, which they kind of have been at least for a little bit, then the, the problem here is that you're going to see that the volume fading off until we get an update because ultimately that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on some more information out of what is going on here with their true form of product. Is the product actually good? Is it going to actually help? And will vets actually want this product in the long term? That's the name of the game here for Zom. So pulling back to the downside, we could see Zom back down towards $1 very, very quickly if the small cap market stays weaker than it has been in prior months and things get quiet on the front of ZOM. So that's our concerns for the downside. Just make sure you understand that going into ZOM. Technically speaking, we have downside down towards about $1 and it could drop down towards about an 85 cent area. That's an area right we had back in here, uh, back at the beginning of the year that we found to be pretty strong support. So hopefully it's helpful on ZOM. Now let's dive into those two penny stocks that have some significant upside right now. The first stock is going to be ticker symbol ALRN. The reason why we talk about this stock is because in the past 10 days, we just had three four-star or better analysts here on a tip ranks. And of course, you can always dive into these analysts. You can go into their profile. You can look at the stocks they've picked and you can see their performance, right? We've had three four-star or better analysts all come out with significant price targets to the upside, okay? This stock is sitting under $1.50 and we have a price target here of five, another five, and then a price target of two. So the price target of two indicates about a 40% upside from the current levels, but those two $5 price targets indicate potentially 250% upside from the current levels. The reason why we wanna talk about this stock and why we like this one is we're playing with a biopharmaceutical company. Now these are one of the most volatile types of stocks on the stock market. You have to understand that number one going in. However, they're in the space of therapeutics for treatments of cancer and other diseases. Now they have a lead candidate right now in the pipeline and plenty of others where that came from in the pipeline, which is always very important. Now when we talk about penny stocks here on this channel or in general, you have to understand that a lot of these stocks will not make it long term, right? But what we can do is we can play for that move in the short term. And that's the whole name of the game when it comes to penny stocks. Reason why ALRN also came up on my screen pretty nicely is because it's a stock that I number one have played in the past. I've traded in the past. Currently do not have shares in this stock, but what we can see right here is we have an uptrend developing. And we're also sitting at this orange line, the 200 period simple moving average on the one year, one day chart tends to be a pretty strong area of support. Last time we came down to this level was back in December. And from December to the peak that we saw early in 2021, we saw about 146% move to the upside. So this stock is setting up at a much, much better risk reward level in terms of downside risk. Would not want to see the stock dropping below the 200 SMA very much. If it does, would like to see it holding up around 125. If not, it may come down towards $1 and that could be a better opportunity to pick up some ALRN. We just want to make sure you can see this stuff going on and have a decent idea of where the stock is setting up and the range you have for the upside compared to the downside. If you're looking at current range, to the upside, you have about a dollar move to the upside. If you're looking for downside risk and you're, let's say your downside risk is $1 or down towards the lows we saw back in December. Yeah. You're talking about much less. You're talking about about a 50 cent or less downside risk. So you always want to make sure that your upside is much, much larger than your downside here when you're talking about these stocks. When you're looking at a penny stock that's already up 17,000% over the past couple of months, your upside, yeah, could it go another 100, 200, 500%? Sure, it could keep going, right? But your downside is massive. So you want to make sure you understand that. The next penny stock that came up in our scan here on the tip ranks, a little bit higher price stock, but still kind of classifies as a penny stock, small market cap stock, lower float stock. The float is under about 40 million shares available for the public. We have this ticker symbol, CECE, -C -E, Seco Environmental. The reason why we're talking about this stock is because it's actually in an interesting sector as of right now. And some recent analyst price targets here and the past month or so, all are up over $10. $10 being the lowest and $15 being the highest, which indicates a 83% upside. So the reason why we're going to talk about this stock right here is we want to get some information of what is going on. They had a solid quarter for beat on the top and bottom lines with a sign of recovery in the energy markets. Now, the energy space, the environmental space, obviously with everything that's going on currently in Congress and the government with all these different bills being passed, this is definitely a space you wanna be in, not to mention also a company that also kind of relates to climate change. And with what they do here at CECE, -E, they offer services in the field of the environment, energy, fluid handling, and filtration. So. The reason why this is an important stock is because they cover a lot of things when it comes down to climate change, energy, and the environment. 
these are some stocks that you want to start picking up or you know at least paying attention to in the longer term as this administration looks to tackle climate change or make that a significant priority. So diving into the chart here for CECE, the reason why we like this stock obviously is because we have those price targets over 10. And if we're looking at it, taking a trade here on this stock, what could we identify? Potentially right near down towards eight bucks, it is a decent dip off of the recent highs up towards $9.50. So if you're looking for a trade here at eight and you want to put a stop loss in here, maybe you put your stop loss down here under the prior low from back in here when we dropped down to about $7.35. Well, that's going to risk you just less than $1 and then maybe your price target to the upside is up towards $10. That's going to be a psychological level of resistance. Very easy for someone to say, hey, I'm going to sell at 10 bucks. That's obviously the psychology here at play. So that said, CECE on the recent pullback in a hot sector definitely sounds like a solid opportunity, at least in the current market conditions. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. There'll be links down below to get that 20% off coupon for Tip Ranks, the ultimate platform that we are using here on the channel all the time. A lot of the information here is not found anywhere else. Also a link down below to get two free stocks with Weeble. That's this platform right here. And if you want to follow along on the personal channel. There's a link down below in the description box for that as well. We are posting there pretty much daily as well. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.